don't know what the hell this is about. I didn't even see the damn, you know, Blakey Blake. Something clear, bitch. I don't know the shit. Okay. I got a fucking shit. What he looks like, baby. First of all, since when do black do? Um, my son. I swear he's gonna drive me up a fucking wall. Oh no, why are you playing chain reaction? What the hell? What are you watching in there? I'm sorry, y'all. My son is in the room. And he's trying to watch chain reaction. His ass needs to be watching his ABCs. <laughs> Still in there turning the shit off, even though I just turned it on. Damn, maybe she's on. He's in there turning the shit off. Mm hmm. So, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, it's back on, y'all. He turned it back on his damn self. This is why I didn't see it, but it's here. Who asked for a fucking recap? That's what I would like to know. No. Uh, hope I can't. I can't. Nope, I can't come right now. I'm spending the night with Blake. Mm. Duh. Again? Oh, come on. You know I can only see her during the weekends. Yeah, but who's gonna help me pick up the girls? Mm -hmm. Why don't you ask Aldo to come with you, right? Are you kidding me? Every time I go out with him, he steals all the girls from me. Well, he definitely is cute again. I definitely won't go out with him again. Mm -hmm. So, so what? I'm not going to leave Blake alone just to hit on girls with you. Sorry, bro. You're not fine. I thought we were friends. Our friends supposed to, aren't friend and friends are supposed to help each other. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. I bet you do gotta go. Here's my princess. My pajamas are at my house, so I borrow a shirt. I hope you don't mind. Why we care, girl? Of course I don't. And the last time I wore this sh <laughs> shirt, I was 14. I really need to clean my room. Mm. Yes, you should. No type of girl, girl. It looks better than you anyway. She's the most beautiful girl to me. She's perfect. I can't get enough of her. Um, my man who said to me. I probably don't tell you often enough, but I love you, Blake. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? I really do love you. Um, you beat me in my own game. You got into my system. Uh, and I'm sorry if sometimes I act like a jerk. 
It means that I really care about you. Bitch. Okay, I never cared about someone else before you. Okay, bitch. The whole boyfriend thing, it's still new for me. Six months in this thing and it's still new, huh? Will you drive me crazy? I'm crazy about you, Blake. Here come my baby. It's so hard for me to control myself when I'm around her. If she was someone else, I would have had it, what I wanted for a long time now. Mm. But she's not a random girl. She's the girl that I love. And I want to make things right. I don't want to rush her. So, so Liam been having all the sex for all these years or whatever. And all of a sudden, he just not fucking no more. I don't believe that girl. Mm -mm. We should stop. Oh, what if I don't want to stop, girl? Okay, now. What if he's a fight? Come on, Bobito. Um, what would happen if I let you continue? <laughs> I will start by kissing you. Okay. Then I will let you get out of this shirt. I, I don't, I'm like, I ain't falling for this shit. Because remember, they almost had sex before. Uh, I think I'm ready. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Damn, I swear the most notifications. Oh, hush it, baby. Don't look at me. Uh, why? Why? Why the fuck would I be looking at you? I'm about to smash your dumb ass, girl. Don't you see how how much be you're beautiful? It don't even make no fucking sense. How beautiful you are. No, I don't. You don't see yourself how I see you. You're perfect to me. Even if I could, I wouldn't change a thing about you. Really? Really. And for the first time, she seemed really ready to trust me. I was waiting for this moment for so long. But I knew I had to be careful. I didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable. What the fuck is that ringing? God damn it. Let me turn the ringer off. No, it's better. I'm a, what the fuck, bitch? Throw that bitch out the room. Fuck. Bruh. Shit. Just give me a second. I'm not available right now, Vance. What? Where? Fine, I'm coming. I'm so sorry, sweetheart, but I have to go. Where are you going at this hour? No! no. What the fuck? <laughs> Two of our men got shot tonight. I have to go. I have no choice. Worst timing ever. I'm so sorry, princess. I will stay here with you if I could. I promise you I'll make it up to you. Please be careful. I will. Don't worry. Back to Blank's point of view the next morning. <laughs> Liam is still sleeping. He came back this morning. I'm glad nothing happened to him. I wish he could stop working for Vince. Especially when he leaves me all alone in the middle of the night. But I know he can't do anything for now. Um, I can take a, a walk while he's sleeping. I should wear something comfortable. Why would you take a walk? First of all, you ain't never took a walk in his fucking neighborhood in the first place. I'm glad I left some clothes here. Why would you all of a sudden just fucking take a walk today, bitch? Some shit, going, some shit always pop off. I wonder what the hell this shit's supposed to be, though. These shoes are beautiful. Are beautiful. 
Um, I have to admit that since Liam and I got together, I feel, I just feel better. Um, and now my parents got, and now that my parents got what they deserve, it feels like nothing is working out. There's a new hairdresser. God, I can't even remember the last time I cut my hair. Oh, girl, can we do your hair over, girl? Maybe I should do something with my hair. I could surprise everyone. Can we? Hi, Hi miss. How can I help you? I love to do something um, with my hair, but I don't really know what. That's where I come, why I, I'm here. Um, wear this and I'll take care of you. Choose wisely. There won't be another. Oh, not a fucking problem. You can cut your hair and change your hair. What? I don't want this shit. I guess she had to stay like that because, bitch, they didn't have a hairstyle I wanted. What the fuck? Thank you. You're welcome. Do you wear makeup sometimes? No, I'm, I'm not used to uh, wearing makeup. I love the, being. I love being natural. You're not forced to wear a lot of makeup, you know. I can show you how to do a natural makeup if you want. Why not? Right, bitch. Great. Okay. Now close your eyes. Okay, bitch. Yes! Uh, see, just a little something can make the difference. Do you want to wear it? Hell yeah. Bitch. I told you. We gonna keep that makeup on you, bitch. Because you know you just be looking like a dead dry hoe. Hello, Tolucci. Wow, Blake, you're beautiful. Thank you. I have to go to work. See you later. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Tolucci ass. Bitch, you see her and she be trying to surprise Liam. I hope he likes it. Hey. Hey, babe. Where were... Hmm? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I needed a little change. Do you like it? You're beautiful. Look, I'm sorry about last night. I know I wanted... Well, you know I wanted to stay here, right? It's okay. I know it wasn't your fault. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Well, you lost a moment, bitch. You almost had some ass for the first time since you fucking met this bitch. Damn near. Later that day. Well, since you stopped fucking Becky number two. Can you believe it? He's going to lie about everything. I heard him talk to Jack on the phone and he said that he was about to give an interview. Please, calm down. I know how your father... I know... Wait, 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 wait. I know how you're, uh, I know, what, you, oh, you know how your father is. Uh, he's gonna try to save his career at all costs, yeah. I won't let him do that, trust me. Hey, oh, I forgot that bitch had that hairstyle, damn. What have you done to your hair? You're beautiful, thank you. It's a big change, but yeah, you're pretty. It ain't that big of a change, but she just got that shit curled and some ends clipped. Thank God you're here. Your brother is driving me crazy. Wow, what's going on? My father is planning on doing an interview to uh, contradict your mother's version. Oh, yeah, I know. You know? Your father came to me, to my place a few days ago. And actually, I'm giving him, I'm giving this interview with him. What? What the hell? You don't understand. My mother is evil. All that she wants is to ruin people's lives. No matter what your father did, he doesn't deserve to lose his career. 
This is unbelievable. Yeah, I agree. My mother trapped your father. He never wanted me, and I can't blame him. No one, no one would want to have a child with my mother. All right, shit. So, yes, I'm going to help him because this is who I am. I'm not like my mother. I don't want to ruin people's lives. I'm like, what the hell is this? Okay, okay, calm down. Where's the remote? Um, my father's way out. Oh, uh, my father always finds a way out. I'm sorry I didn't know you would be so upset. Yeah. You don't know... Wait, you don't know him, Blake. Hey, calm down. My father is a selfish jerk who only cares about himself. <coughs> Dallas. I'm about to make you take a nap in a second. I love you. Oh, I love you too, son. I'm glad you're here, Blake. We Can, uh, can I talk to you for a second? In private. You better leave us now, alone now. <laughs> You're doing a big mistake, Blake. If you think that he'll care about you, he's going to use you and then he'll let you down. I say it now. Mm. Now, we can talk. What? No, wait, can we talk? Should I say something about the way he treats Tom? Yeah, bitch. Why do you treat Tom like that? He doesn't deserve it. Time is fine. He doesn't see it right now, but one day he'll leave, live a good life. Leave a good life. Um, he'll have a successful career, a beautiful wife, and a lot of money. All thanks to me. Anyways, are you free tomorrow night for the interview? Yes, I think I can be there. Great. I'll send you a car and driver, and we'll... Uh, take you to the studio the studio yeah it's on a live national tv what i thought it was a written it was a written interview tv is better i'm not comfortable with this idea at all but nope now that i say yes i don't want to let him know. no fuck that blake bitch hell no nah. no oh my i know i should have said no to his fuck oh i know i should have said no i'll be there i know i should have said no because Bitch, if I get a chance to out him, I'm out his ass. Fuck him. Tom seems really mad at me. Hello, Blake. Hello, Agatha. You look beautiful. Thank you. Blake, just pick your motherfucking head up, bitch. You always looking down and sad and shit. Talk to her. My brother and I just had a fight. He's mad at me because I chose to do this interview. Are you sure that you uh, that's what you want? I don't... Um, I don't... Him... I don't want him to hurt you. Okay, girl. I don't want him to hurt you. I don't expect anything from him. I just don't want my mother to ruin his life again. Anyway. The next day. Should I talk to him? Hi, Blake. Hey. What a change. Didn't you change your look when we were together? <laughs> I guess if you had done this before, I would have never cheated on you. I guess I just needed to fight, like, find the right man for, uh, for me. All right, the beauty and the drug dealer. How romantic. How dare you? Your boyfriend is a pathetic drug dealer. And probably a murderer, too, considering the fact that he almost killed me a few months ago. Uh, and I can't wait to see him slap his ass. Bitch, don't you ever say that again. Don't you ever talk about him this way. You've mistaken if you think that I can't make your life a living hell. And if you try to talk about that night to anyone, I'll start talking about it, too. I'll start to tell everyone how you kidnapped me and drugged me. Is that really what you want? This nigga here, invisible invisible boy, getting all the tea, honey.
We should go to class. Later that day. Is he still mad at me? You should let him calm down. I didn't know he would be so mad at me. I know. The only thing you can do right now is giving him some space. I need to get ready for the interview, but everyone seems mad at me because of it. Uh-uh. When I told Liam that it was a television interview, he freaked out. And Tom is still mad at me. But I can't cancel now. I have to do it. Dude, he just scratched the fuck out of me. <coughs> I can do this. Bitch, no you can't. <coughs> Tonight we have the pleasure to receive Mr. Miller and his daughter Blake Turner and exclusively. Um, I was very anxious, but I couldn't show it. So I put a fake smile on, wondering what I was doing here. So I have a lot of questions for you two. First of all, is Kate Turner saying the truth? Did you abandon her while she was expecting your child? Apparently, that's what I did. But I didn't know it. <laughs> we were young. We wanted to have fun. It it was nothing more than a one-night stand. And Kate used to sleep with a lot of boys. She, she left school and a few months later I heard that she was pregnant. But I didn't know it was mine. Is that true, Mr. Turner? How the fuck would she know? Yes, it is. He couldn't know. When I was young, my mother never told me, never told anyone who my father was. Then why did you pay her lawyer if you didn't know that she was your daughter? Because Blake found out the truth. I begged my mother until she told me who my father was. And then she told me the truth. So when she got arrested, it was obvious that I couldn't let <laughs> let her stay in jail. Mm -hmm. My mother is a bad person, and all she wants to all she wants to is all she wants to do fuck um it's ruin people's lives. I understand. How did you react when you heard um everything they did to your daughter, Mr. Miller? This is not the point. Mrs. Turner, can you tell us more about your mother and her husband? We're not here to talk about that. I was pretty clear about it. But everyone wants to know about your uh, your daughter's life. And she doesn't want to talk about that. All that you need to know is that Kate is, manip is, is a manipulating woman who's, who's ready to do anything to ruin our lives. She was convicted of child abuse and, well, you can't believe a word she says. Well, thank you for this interview. Meanwhile, I'm sick of him. I know, but why uh, Why do you care so much? In a few days, he'll go to New York again and everything will be fine. I don't rec I don't realize, wait, I don't recognize these. What? Wait, you these days. I don't recognize you these days. That's a use. <laughs> you always yelling at me. You had a fight with Blake. I'm doing my best to handle the situation. This was a bad idea. I don't like that. For once, I agree with you. Thank you for tonight. You probably saved my career, no problem. Look, I'm not a good father. You didn't miss anything, and you, uh, and it's better for you to stay away from me. What a beautiful way to tell me to get out of his life. I knew he didn't want to get to know me anyway, but I kind of hope he changed his mind. So this is it. You're home. Okay, bye. Take care of you. Of yourself. This is probably the last time I'll see my father. I'm still glad I could help him. I know I did the right thing, even if everyone seems to think otherwise. To be continued. I don't like his ass. I should have said no, y'all. I regret it. And I can't even get this stupid damn thing to stop recording.